Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send email for webhook responses automatically. Now, let's assume that I am receiving new leads through this form builder application. Here, I have taken the example of job form. So, every time this form is filled and the response is received, then what do I want? I want to send an email to the person welcoming him on board and sharing the details. Now, let's assume that job form is not available directly in Pabli Connect integration library. In such a case, we are going to use a feature by Pabli, which is webhook, which is going to provide us a URL that can be pasted in any application that supports webhook and then we can receive data from there. So to automate this process, we are going to integrate webhook by Pabli and Gmail using Pabli Connect. So our trigger will be webhook by Pabli and our action application will be Gmail. And now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process so that every time a response is received here, then automatically a mail can be sent to the new lead. Let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, you simply have to sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard, here you can see a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared. Now, here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name here. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to send email for webhook responses. Let's click on create. Now, as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts or the building blocks on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you make a payment, then you get an SMS on your phone about the amount debited. How does that happen with the help of automation? Now, in such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application will be any application through which you can send these SMS. Now, once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here our trigger application will be webhook by Pabli. Let's click on this. Now here you can see we have received this webhook URL. Now webhook URL here is a universal resource locator used to send data between two applications. So it's a medium by which two different applications communicate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And once this is done, I have to here copy the webhook URL and add it under the webhook section of the application where we have to set up the integration. So I'm going to take you to Jot form. Now, here are the two forms that I've created. Let's say that I want to work on this contact form. Click on edit form. So once I've done this here, we are going to go to settings. Now within settings on the left hand side, we have integrations. Let's click on this. And here we have to look for webhooks. Let's click on this. And now here I'm going to paste the URL that we have just copied. And now I'm going to click on complete integration. And you can see here that the integration is ready. Let's click on finish. Now once this integration is all set, now what do we have to do? We have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now to understand whether JotForm and Pabli Connect are properly integrated, we are going to do a test submission. So I'm going to take you back to JotForm. Here I'm going to click on publish. Now here we have received this link. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Let's fill up this form. Let's say the first name is smart. The last name is user one. This here is the email address. Then the phone number is and the name of the company is Pabli Connect. I'm going to submit the form. The form has been submitted. Let's go to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response here. And yes, here we have received the response. So this here is the webhook URL. Then as I take you down, this is the name of the form. And then here we have the first name, last name, email address, mobile number and the name of the company. So once I have received this information, I want to send an email to this person. For this, I'm going to choose my action application as Gmail. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to send email. Let's click on connect. So as we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with Gmail account. I have selected add new connection, connect with Gmail. So here we have to choose an account. I have chosen the account. Once done here, Pabli Connect wants to access my Google account. So here I have selected allow. 
And as I do that, here we can see that Gmail and Public Connect are now connected. So as I take you down here, we have to add the information. First of all, the recipient's email address. Now we have received this email address here in the above response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map it. How? As I click on this, go to step one. And as I take you down, this here is the email address. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the same information manually, then even when my workflow was running in real time, it wouldn't have taken the new data. Instead, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Now, if you wish to add CCBCC, you can do that. Then we have the sender's name. Let's say the name of the sender is ABC Limited. Next, we have the email subject. So here I'm going to write welcome on board. Then we have reply to email content type is plain. Next, we have the email content. So here I'm going to write dear. Let's map the name of the person. So the name of the person here is first name is smart. Then I'm going to give a space. And here I'm going to map the last name as well. Then I'm going to write, thank you for subscribing. We are glad to have you on board. You can now receive the latest updates on integration and automation softwares. Please feel free to connect in case of any queries regards ABC Limited. Now this is totally customizable so you can write your own message. And once this is done, if you wish to send any file, so enter the file name here and the attachment URL has to be entered here. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response according to which now this mail must be sent. Let's go and check the same. So this here is the email address of the person and we can see we have received this mail. This means that our integration is a complete success. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Jot form and here I'm going to again open this form to check this integration in real time. Let's say the first name is new. The last name is test user. This here is the email address. Then we have the phone number and then we have the name of the company, which is let's say this time XYZ Limited. And now I'm going to click on submit. The moment this form is submitted, what should happen? Automatically a mail should be sent. Let's go and check the same. So I'm going to take you to inbox and yes, we have received another mail from ABC limited. So here is the response that we have received. So this basically means our integration is a complete success, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was a feature by Pabli, which was webhook, where we had to capture the webhook. And our action application was Gmail, where we had to send this email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.